What up, world? Welcome back to another episode of the Wet Skin Raid Show with me, your host, Tommy Mack, the late skin legend. And me, your battle host, Terry McKenna. Kid Scorpion. And we are in association with Baps, the best burgers in the city. Make sure you get down there, bop, try them out. Bop, bop, bop. And uh, today, we have a very, very special guest. This guy is the king of social media. You have to be. The king of Morgan. Listen, he needs no introduction, but we'll give him one anyway. You know, for the king of suits, was the Chris suit I'll take that one. King of suits. King of suits. I'm happy enough with that tag. <laughs> so, Thanks, uh, Tommy. Chris, you became a celebrity through... No, stop using that. I know, fuck's sake. You did? Like, some people know me in Belfast, right? But that's, that's about like this. You know, do you know what? See the way I took business. So um, for the people that are watching that maybe don't know what I do, I have a men's shop in Belfast called Suter Brothers. and have a wee cafe in Hollywood called Suter & Co. We also do a bit of DJing. We're going to be here long. Do a bit of hosting. I know, I'll do a load of fucking stuff. But um, yeah, see when social media first came out, Tommy, like I, I seen it as a free way to get people to come into my shops mm-hmm. and buy shit. Yeah. It was literally as simple as that. So I went about um, just trying to get myself out there and um, get myself in front of people and then hopefully people would see what I'm all about now some people don't like me yeah. lots of people hopefully do like me you and then like the most positive man in the world every day was. I know, and there were days you're like fuck me get me off his Instagram Tyrone, honestly there are there's always like everybody has their off days right mm. and um, but for years for years Tyrone I had no fucking off days mm. now we can talk about this is something actually that's good this is this is a the darker side of my story Um. Like I was, the, I was, see, for five, six years, Tyrone, I was the most positive, fucking happy guy mm. on social media every day, telling everybody to get up, get out, it's get at it. Triple G. Just triple G, just fucking go for everything, live your life. Everything was absolutely fucking wonderful until August 2022, when one day I woke up, or sorry, one day, in, or one night, I had this thing called a fucking panic attack. And that panic attack led to fucking generalized anxiety disorder and led to and depression and led to me being stuck in my room for was it twenty seven days? Yeah, that, fucking that, that, horrible you whole month. That, yeah, that spell August. been off. You, yes. you put up with something like I need to be off social media. Like, what a food out of food nervous nervous breakdown. And so what were we doing yeah. for twenty seven days in the room? Literally just just, it just fucking my wife bring, bring, bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't help. I tried that, but it didn't help. But um, no, literally just Nicola, my wife, bringing me my fucking food. And my kids coming up, me crying, and me literally just trying to flip it. Why did you have it? Um, I took on too much, Tyrone. Mm. So I got too much involved and became my own avatar. So I became this person that I put out online, which is Chris Suter, the positive guy, the business owner, the guy that can do fucking everything mm. and do it well and always say yes to everything. Yeah, that was me. Because it, it um, is stressful. Because even when boxing, you know, I just like, put on this attitude of, oh, I love and life and all that. Yeah. Sometimes you aren't. Behind your scenes. Well, here. That people always, um, as if Tyrone just had gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's an he's 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 introvert. Yeah, he's being shattered. It's hard to put on that sometimes. It is. For everyone, because like, sometimes you just want to be yourself and be yeah. chill and fucking not, not borrow one. So. But the thing was, you know, I was being myself, right? I know but you yeah, are being yourself. I know. But the, and, and see, whenever I blew up, positive. like there was nothing actually wrong. This is the thing. And that's what took me so long to fucking get it. Like it took me months, Tommy. In fact, you know, and in fact, even now, it's kind of two years on down the line. I'm still doing stuff every day because of what happened to me I'm doing my meditation and my breath work but I'll get into that in a wee minute but back then there was nothing everything was fucking wonderful mm. family wonderful business is wonderful fucking like health was what I thought was fucking good and then did, literally this did, one night just yeah, bang and what it was was I'd taken on five DJ gigs in four days and I wasn't sleeping in the same bed any of those four any of those four days and I had obviously the flipping businesses to run and there was stuff on with the kids and I literally just got to the point where I'd said yes to all this stuff and I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it and it's literally I came time. the yeah. Thursday was a Wednesday I even forget now Tommy it was a Wednesday I think it was a Wednesday my first game was meant to be on the Thursday and literally that Wednesday night I got into bed at like sort of late after prepping a load of music and um, literally my heart started going a fucking dinger an absolute thing and I was like what's wrong and that was the first panic attack I'd never had a panic attack before and I used to think people that had panic attacks were fucking mm. you know what I mean wise yourself up put yourself yeah. something wrong with it I had the first panic attack and it literally scared the living fuck clean out what of me feeling? a horrible throne because like back then this is another fun thing back then I had asthma right mm. and I was also diagnosed with um, a disorder called COPD mm. which is like a, li- a life threatening flipping it's like your lungs are tightening up yeah you said about that yeah, yeah your lungs are stiffening up as in the 
bronchioles about to connect your lungs, your mouth are all, it, they lose their elasticity and like I wasn't responding to any drugs that the doctor would give me and stuff. And the more I said, Chris, your lungs are fucked. In fact, my lung age back then was at a lung age of a 97 year old. That's Jeez. what they told me. That's what AJ thought you were. I fucking know. <laughs> yeah, so I had the panic attack and then I got this thing called anxiety, which again, I never knew anything about anxiety. I never had anxiety before. Brutal, it? Fucking brutal. It's, her own. it's horrendous. <laughs> and I it's used to again. just accidents conversation. <laughs> I can't relate to these two. Tell me. Swear to God. Fucking gang. Oh my anxiety. God. Anxiety. But people used to say Not to me, pretending to be fun guys, but I know. Shit, you shit yourself. Keep it real, don't worry about now. But here, Tommy, that is, and again, that you actually see your attitude. That's the right attitude, Tommy. Back then, I started to overthink, and overthinking became my thinking. Yeah. And literally, I was waking up every day and overthinking everything. And I had to then train my brain and my body going on to stop overthinking. Yeah. And that's part of why I got sort of clear up. Yes. So here, so through this journey, right? And so I had to sort myself out. Literally my head was so far up my hole it was horrendous it was as bad as I could get lads right I don't want to say too much more on this Save but all. all I'm saying is it was as bad as I could get <laughs> yeah. like it, my, I went so fucking low because mm. I couldn't understand you know at money fucking family mm. wife kids businesses mm. everything was fucking amazing yet literally I wanted to jump off a bridge but it just stress, I swear to God it was it was, it was it was the stress of me saying yes to everything, Tyrone, mm. and taking it all on and not making time for myself. Another wee thing too, because of the asthma, I used to breathe very shallow and I breathed like I breathed like this for fucking thirty years. Mm. Whereas I was only breathing the top half of my lungs. And what I've came to learn now is you have two different parts of your nervous system. Is this how you have a nervous breakdown? You have your parasympathetic nervous system, you have your sympathetic nervous system. Your sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight. That's the one that you see when you're getting punched in the face. Mm. You're breathing nice and sharp and shallow. It's sending all the enzymes and all the flipping hormones to your brain to say, get me the fuck out of there mm. or get my fucking punch back or get my fist back in his mm. face. That's your sympathetic nervous system. Your parasympathetic nervous system is the one that chills you out and relaxes you. That's your rest and digest. Now, you ping both through your lungs, through your breathing. There's these baroreceptors in your lungs that, that actually shift between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. And because I was breathing so shallowly in the top of my lungs, yeah. as you do when you're in a fight, yeah. do you know what I mean? That's constantly firing the that's sympathetic nerves and that br- blows up that's the cortisol. Yeah. I think I live in a parasympathetic. You're in the par, Johnny. You're just fucking. I'm a par, Tommy. You're just par, you know what I mean? Just fucking chill out. Deep breaths. <laughs> but then the fucking deep so I had to learn how to breathe again so you breathe right? like a pug so basically. I was breathing like a wee pug I right? remember you played that uh, <laughs> charting football match yes Sorry. and uh I think you had to you had to come off I you fucked him just inhale him yes nearly, nearly <laughs> killed my I hear, that, I hear Tommy that actually wasn't long before my, my fucking blew up yeah. and there was a whole load of those things where my lungs were going downhill my life was going fucking uphill with all the stuff I was doing but I wasn't looking after myself I wasn't knowing how to I couldn't relax I was go 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 yeah. all the fucking time and I only slept four hours a night every night and I thought I was the dog's balls coming on Instagram giving oh check me out I only mm-hmm. slept fucking four or five hours last night but I'm up and at it every day bang 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 until the body just woke up one morning and says no fucking more suit bang and I fell on the fucking ground in a heap of shit a heap of tears and it was horrendous it was the worst time that see that kind of did you feel it building or did no, you it just come out in the words? no I was fucking Tommy I was I was flat out fucking yo and then all of a sudden I had the panic attack that night went up to the doctor thought I was having a heart attack like most people yeah. do when they have a panic attack yeah, my, the thing- anyway, I had a panic attack and uh, I, had, I had to phone the ambulance and then the ambulance come out because I obviously she'd never had one yeah. I'd never experienced anyone yeah. having one so bad and when they, when they come out um, they says most of their 999 calls yeah. are all attacks. Panic attacks. Yep. really? Yeah. yeah and it's just you know what it's just the body the stress levels get too hard or get too high and your body's natural reaction to, to tell you to shut it down is to go into um, is to go into like a panic mode because yeah. that's your that's your brain trying to regulate yeah. the cortisol and regulate all the stress hormones and it can't that, so your body gets scrambled so <laughs> you go into, and you just have to learn yeah. to fucking be calm my, my wife and was out. panicking because our oldest daughter was going to her first rave. Yeah. So she was like, shedding herself about it. Like, yes. It's going to be all right. And then 
And you were, I think you were hosting it. Oh, fuck. I made our pint. You fucking sooner, Sarah. You ain't going to have a pint. <laughs> oh, my God. But did, uh, you take a, did you take a step back after? So, learn to, so literally, after about sort of three weeks, Tyrone, of literally just trying to fucking wake up every day and have a day, like having mm. to get on with my life. Um, it was horrendous. I swear to God, lads. It was fucking awful. Mm. Worst time of my life. Couldn't get any flipping lower. Sounds like when I was retired, for fuck's sake. I know. But here, same thing happens. See, whenever you've got purpose your whole life yeah. thrown and you're working towards a fight and that's what you do and then you stop boxing, mm. that's what, that's what happens to lots of boxers. Yeah, yeah. If you don't do stuff like this yeah. and don't keep yourself with something to do, you get into depression and that's where it all comes from. But what I did was I just got on the Google as I do with stuff. And by this, I'll come around to the boxing. To right? Google I get Google. fucking into it. So I need to know. I'm one of these cunts that just needs to know everything about everything, right? I need to know it all I can't just you can't just tell me that's a floor I need to know what that floor's made of who fucking yeah. laid it where it came from much of what you know I need to know the details so I started um, looking into anxiety and looking into panic attacks and looking into depression looking into this and about how you can naturally sort it because mm. I went to the doctors doctors gave me the tablets a diazepam and fucking all these other palms whatever you call them but I couldn't bring myself to take them yeah. I just knew that there was some other way that I was going to show up. I've still got them. <laughs> I've still got them. Do you want to buy them? So, um, I want, so I read about breath work and I read about meditation. And lads, let me tell you, it took me months to work this out. I'm sitting there trying to fucking meditate, you know, because when you, whenever you have to meditate, you have to sit still and you have to try and do, you have to try and breathe a certain way. You maybe put a wee, um, a wee um, app on your head and somebody talks through it. I, I couldn't fucking do it. Every day. I'm not <laughs> I'm meditating before it got popular. Tommy, no shit. Right, so I use this app called the Calm app, right? You would be fucking class on it. I could, listen, class? I could listen to your voice all day. That. You just need, to, you know, there's this guy that I listen to called Chibs, and he's very like you. He's just Chibs. very, yes, Chibs. Chibs is character, and he's very fucking calm, and he's got this nice flow to his voice, and you can just sit there and listen and just chill the fuck out. But there, the Wim Hof breath work, that yeah. was the key. We do ice baths, and I do ice baths, and I do. Surely you're going to share the yoga for your, for your. And my wife Nicola, and uh, do you know what? I was trying that too, <laughs> Tyrone, I know, and Nicola was fucked. Yeah, go on, I'm lover. stressed about more. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I had the worst uh, at yoga out of any you'll ever meet. I can't, oh, you're joking. I can't even touch my toes or nothing. Don't worry as about a, it. As a professional athlete, you think you'd be a bit flexible. Somebody's ringing. Well, here, here, on that note. Answer it. Answer it. There's no call I do. All right. It's BBC. Hello. I want. Hello, Yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> come on, pause us. No, hold on a second, one it's second. A gum, it's a gum clinic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have the stab <laughs> It's the fucking gum clinic. Tommy's got an apple seal on the phone. <laughs> Tommy, it's about, it's, your, it's about your herpes. <laughs> it's about your herpes. It's incredible. <laughs> BBL. BBL. BBL, Jersey. Are you sick? I thought the cat had the gun, no? You did? We're oh, here. Are we still rolling? Oh yeah, we're rolling. Oh, yeah. Sorry, lads, yeah. I can't even remember where we were. No, no, no. Anyway, I was talking about the Wim Hof, right? So yeah, get into the Wim Hof. Oh, we're talking about Nicola and her. Right, Nicola and yoga. No, God love her. She had, she, had the, she had to witness that and look after me the whole time. Fuck, again. We girls class, like. Are you good at yoga? Yeah. Not really. I can do yoga and I know most of the pose and stuff, but I'm not. I'm t my hamstrings are like that ah, instead of being same, like that. Same. I'm fucked in See, nightmare. Years are just not stretching. I only started stretching. No, you last. need to collect the stretch and so much. See, when you first start boxing, you're, you do you're it, remember? You stretch at the start of every season, and at the end, we warm up, warm down. Yeah. And then as you go along, you're like, no, I don't need just this. want to get the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. And because you're young, you don't need yeah. it. You're like, oh, I'm sweet, and the next day you're well, fresh. Here, Nicola, when you get older, see with the boxing thing, we don't even own here. Nicola has me doing a, a boxing um, yoga. yoga thing so she's got me doing all yeah. she, I'm, I'm, honestly she needs to do this I keep telling her she needs to do a fucking video showing boxers the poses they should be doing they stand out like you know their yeah, yeah. their back muscles my and their back, arm muscles back, and their like, my back, it's terrible yeah you need to but do I, it I, I always worry because I used to go to hard yoga and any time I finished hard yoga my back would be worse aye yeah so I was always doing stretches wrong or yeah exactly or yeah well, a lot of stress contributes to Back issues as well. Does Tommy? It Tommy does. has this big fear that I, it's, it's all, all, it's all <laughs> my head. Yes, right. It's right. all my head that I have this back problem. I thought it was in a wheelchair for a while. Oh, but when you were when you were stressing, <laughs> that's a true. No, Tommy, it's a true. Like, yeah, it's it's true. True. And no, it is true. It is true. Your body has to store. Nature, whatever it is, it's called. 
where he, uh, pretend, he pretends he's broke his legs and he can't walk no more and put a wee fucking knife and he goes ah! that's, that's going to be Tommy no. to <laughs> I know that your back does hurt you but it's more to do with stress well let's get into what you just said there see if you can get yourself relaxed like it was you and your muscles relaxed then they let go of all the fucking because again cortisol is a big flipping issue and if cortisol gets in there if it's stored then in your muscles your muscles are tighter Mm. and then you can't let them go through and that's whenever it gets tight that's when it gets sore that's a stress hormone cortisol cortisol (laughs) cortisol (laughs) mechanic but But here I get into Wim Hof I need to tell you about the Wim Hof the Wim Hof is fucking unbelievable right so there's me, there's me in the shit trying to work out how to fucking help myself. And I read this boy, Wim Hof, because you see all his wee videos online. Mm. He runs fucking marathons in the Arctic and all, with his knickers off and all this sort of stuff and jumping into ice baths. So I just started doing the breath work. Now, it took me again a couple of months to get into it. Yeah. And the breath work is 30 breaths in, 30 breaths out with an extended breath hold at the end of each session, right? Mm. So it only takes you a couple of minutes every morning. See the fuck, lads, I'm telling you. See the feeling you get at the end of it. It is. It's like a drug, Tyrone. It's like our Tommy. Tommy. It's like fucking being. It's like a a drug. I swear to God. And see when you get properly. And like I do it. I've done it this morning. Do my thirty breaths in. So you're like hyperventilating, right? Mm. And then what you're doing is you breathe out and you hold it. So you you know there's nothing in your lungs. And what happens is then you're changing what's called the oxygen the oxygen tension in your body because there's a lack of it and your body's getting more CO2 and the body's then having to work harder. Your wee veins, your wee vascular system is having to work harder because there's a lack of oxygen. Mm. And then whenever you take the flipping big deep breath in after it and you get a big rush of oxygen, right? You hold that for 15 seconds and then you let go. You get this feeling down your arms and your legs and you're like, oh my God, this is <laughs> fucking yo. Um, you like you feel oh, like Tommy Mac. Uh, <laughs> see you do. You have to do more than breathe. I swear to God, here. But see on that note. See me just then looking into the Wim Hof breathwork. I started to look into how people breathe, right? Mm. And literally, lads, I'm not. I'm not going to fucking bore the whole podcast with this. I don't have asthma anymore. I had asthma for 35 years. I was on fucking blue inhalers and brown inhalers every day of my life for 35 years because with my mom would have taken me to the doctor when I was young. Kid can't breathe well. Doctor goes, he's asthmatic. Take them fucking drugs. Well. And I went home. Yeah. I, now don't, I now breathe like a fucking racehorse <laughs> within a year and a half at 41 yeah, years old for just doing, learning how to breathe. Yeah. Listen, you said something earlier yes. about the annual loan fit this yes. is what we'll, we'll get to I know, I know. But anyway that's enough so we can instigate it you, you said did. earlier before we came on camera you did now we didn't add to instigate really I was trying Tommy, to, you're a mixer yeah I am you wound it up Tom I, was, I was trying <laughs> to get um, fuck's sake the friend I wanted was Malone V Nico Nico I know I know And but Nico didn't want it no nah, Nico was, says what I was like fucking give it to you what the fuck you I was like fucking give it to you you so, will do fucking anything. Like, honestly, and again, it's the same thing, Ty. It's just, I see going back to what happened to me, see me going forward now, as long as I remember... You, you, you got your panic attack from yeah, saying yes too much? I did. Now I'm saying yes but here, you're really? fucking, but here's okay. the thing, Tommy. I now safety. have a safety net and now I know how to relax. Before, I never knew how to relax. Mm. I took everything on and just kept going from the next thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing. And that's what kept me going until my body shut me down yeah. and says no more. Mm. Now I meditate every day. I do my breath work every day. I fucking make sure I take Sundays off. I land my fucking, my balls out on a Sunday, do stuff with the kids, whatever. I literally... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, <laughs> you know, I, li- I now relax so I can now start taking on things again yeah. and I'm doing more DJing again and I'm doing more kind of events again. Are you not worried that you're taking on too much again? No, because I've got, I know where my capacity is. I know, I know when this flip and shut down. Okay. And to be fair to you, Tyrone, the boxing thing, this is pushing me a wee bit. Yeah. This is me going outside my comfort zone again and I want to see how far, you know, yeah. I'm not, have I you, need to know. Have you ever had a fight? I've never had a fight, like a, like a normal fight. Just, never once in my life. Never. Never fought anybody until fucking Ram Burnett two weeks ago. You, you, you but you Oh, he sparred Burnett. I sparred Burnett. I'm sure I love him. <laughs> so, as you know, the boxing, I've supported you guys forever. Big mm. boxing fan. Watched boxing my whole fucking life. And I'm like, boxing? I gotta have a fucking go at that. Mm. Yeah. I was like, I need, I need to have a go at this. Because obviously being around you lot and, be, yeah, and being involved in the scene, you know, I've never been on the other side of the ropes. You'll hear it. I've always been... You'll hear it. What do you tell you? Right, right. so I've always been on the outside of the ropes. So whenever Andy called me and Nico out, I was like, well, I know Nico's not going to take it. He's Mm. no fucking interest. I was like, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to push Andy. So I I had unfriended Andy because you know why me and him fell out? Well, 
Do you know what? Do you know? Well, I just saw the the troll. The troll bosses. So was that C, the final? C was to be fair to Andy Malone. I did get myself into his life for no fucking reason. Mm, Three yeah. Nico, the wee cunt. Yeah. Right, it's through Nico. So you know the way Nico's on this flipping journey to flipping be the, the internet police? Yeah. And anybody who does anything wrong, Nico's fucking calling yeah. them out. So Nico, see, Andy Malone was doing this whole thing for his Ampax meals. Netflix are going to do a documentary on it. Pictures of himself in a private jet with a bag full of money and all sorts of stuff. And Nico called him out and I kind of then fucking backed yeah. Nico on it. Right? Um, but like I was Andy doing his own thing. I didn't agree with what Andy was doing because that whole fake it, do you make it culture fucks me off. Mm. Do you know I'm about hard work and about yeah. authenticity. Andy was giving it the whole I'm big licks and trying to get himself a profile yeah. by talking shite and lying to people, yeah. right? So I did, whenever I got into it, I was like, I fucking need a wee bit of this. But um, anyway, so me and Andy and Nico and all, we all fell out and then he'd done the troll busters. When he'd done the troll busters one, I thought he was going to leave me alone. Chris Sutter. And then he Dude, goes, I, I do not know you, by. I know. <laughs> but then at the end, at the end, the Nico's when he goes, and next week, and with his fucking Yuri accent, it's Sutter time. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I haven't even told anybody else, like, but literally, my fucking balls dropped. I was like, oh no. Uh, I'm like, oh fuck, no, what have I got myself into? So, you're not um, very con- because uh, I'm not that guy that's yeah. the thing I'm not controversial I don't go out of my way to annoy anybody I go the up I, I'm a lover I yeah. fucking love everybody Who's but some somehow I get laid down this let's fucking browbeat on the Malone yeah. business so it's technically I got myself involved in him whenever he didn't know me so yeah. he's, he's got a point but anyway so on, he'd on the troll busters and to be fair to him see that week running up to it I was shitting myself Look, you, I, you, Tommy, I swear to God, I was, anxiety, free, anxiety was fucked. That was actually before me br- breaking down yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I, he was, and it was fucking. Andy, it was started with Andy. Fuck sake, fucking bastard. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, yeah, it gets worse. So I'm fucking shit myself in the run up to it. But then Andy, like, there's nothing on me. This is the thing. I don't have clots. Like he was able to poke out stuff about Nico. Mm. I don't have that shit. Mm. I've been a good yeah. lad my whole fucking life mm. so what I was worried about was him making something up yeah. doing troll bosses and Chris Suter's this and Chris Suter's but he didn't he actually made it quite funny and yeah. I actually fucking laughed at it Is and it, at the I end of it Chris Suter playing I, ways up right I, 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 I don't know why it's even but it looked like it actually wasn't fuck Chris Suter's way oh dear <laughs> he's a fucking funny cunt don't he like but um, look, How so do you that's, feel about the fight but coming up? Well, that was, that was where the beef came from. I was like, I apologised to him on the Instagram. I said, Andy, shouldn't have got involved. Blah, blah, blah. I'm deleting you. I'm blocking you. You block me. I want nothing to do with you. You want nothing to do with me. We'll go our separate ways. Yeah. And that was fine. Until Andy Malone comes onto your fucking podcast. And then I get sent all these fucking video messages. Andy Malone's calling you. It's calling you. It's calling you. I'm like, what? I haven't seen or heard of Andy Malone in years. And there he is. And Nico and Suter, <laughs> I want you two oh, for one, hey, in the fucking yeah. ring, hey. He said you know. your uh, Malone accent's bad. It's pretty good. Is that good, That's is it? All. Uh, I can't do that. You know, I can't even do the smart, you know. Oops. <laughs> no, I, can't, I can't fucking can't do it. <laughs> but um, oh, he's just a fucking gans. But um, the uh, the fight, whenever he fucking called, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to fucking have a go at this. It just sung to me. Respect, respect the fucking Sung to me. Because yeah. Nico straight away said, beat yeah. it. And I, I didn't, I didn't th- see her do the two. It was because Nico has been involved in like a celebrity yep. fight. I thought uh, but if you watch that whole tracks thing, like, oh no, no, nah, fuck's it, you wouldn't have Nico in a boxing well, ring. We were, but I thought, because he was taking it serious before yeah. and he was trained. So he's too busy. I thought he, he would have been all over it, no? Yeah. Because like, he got a wee taste of it. Yeah. But he didn't want it. I didn't think you would have been fucked. I know, I no. Shocked see, Tommy, no one him. would have thought that. And that, was at least now, like, no no and that was it. And that, do you know what happened? Here's what happened. I have to hand it to Andy too. So I, I, I re-added him on fucking Instagram and I just sent him, you know, I put up a wee thing, Malone with the two eyes underneath one of the fucking things. He then literally browbeat me every day on Instagram <laughs> on a voicemail. Well, sinner, are you going to dance? And I'd fuck up, and I wouldn't answer. And then the next day I'd wake up again, another fucking voice message from Andy alone. Well, sinner, are you going to dance? Are you got the, you're gonna take your balls out of the handbag, sinner? And I was like, you fucking cunt, you just leave me alone. And then so I was about the fourth, or, I swear to God, about the fourth or fifth, he just fucking pushed me. I'm like Marty McFly. Do you ever watch Back uh, to the Future, Tommy? Yeah. You know when somebody calls him chicken? Uh. I'm like, fucking not calling me chicken. I'll show you. So um, I literally went back. I said, right, Andy, we're doing it. When is it? Let's do it. And he goes, are you fucking laughing or are you having a laugh or what? And I was like, nope, phone me. If you sent my number, phone me. It's like, no, no, we're doing it. 
and that's it. That was it. Was, it, was it. your slabbering on the phone, or was it just all? No, because he was he was a bit taken aback because I don't think he thought I, I would have took it. Too, uh, I don't think he said. Uh, yeah, because he's, he's, he's a fucking unit. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. He is he's big guy. Fucking you, chop the cunt. You, you're gonna have. You're gonna, you're gonna have the, <laughs> Box. I'm gonna fucking shop him. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> whatever, whatever I do, do the opposite. And that's it, because I asked, I asked you, I said, like, Tony, any idea, any fucking advice? He said, I say, watch my fights and do the opposite. <laughs> so, um, you but got, honestly, you got, you got the perfect coach for it. See, Ryan Burnett, he's unbelievable. Yeah. Coach. Like, well, actually, funny enough, see, we're Ryan. I met, so we met with Mick and we met with Andy and we sorted the whole fucking thing out. Is Mick turning Ali? No, Mick's just involved in the back and yeah. the, the running of it. Um, I had already told Andy that Ram was training me. Mm. So we came out of the fucking meeting and I was like, fuck, I need to beat this cunt. Because uh, he's a big slabber, like, he just mm. needs fucking chopped down a wee bit. And um, I then got on the phone to Ram. I was like, Ran, what's happening? He says, Ran, I'm in, I need help. He's like, what is it, suit? He says, I've just taken on a fight and you're training me. And I was like, oh, here's the gas. And I told him, here's the gas. I went, all right, dead on. Thankfully, because if he'd said no, yeah, I was fucked. You're fucked. You know? I've, been all, I've had that oh, phone fuck. call. Yes, I know. I've, 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 I've seen that. Will you train me? Oh, fuck. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, it's well. You're obviously above Tommy. In, in Here, but I but you know, like, it's training me and training a Tommy Max, a different kettle of fish. Like, yeah, you're fucking. You're fucking. You're fucking. You're fucking. But here, honestly, I'm so fucking excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am for it. I'm scared. Not one bit, Tyrone, because here's the thing, right? Yeah, give it to him. No, here, see, going back to what I said before. Team Suter. Yes, Team Suter. Trying to put. Give it a it is. Every every boxer, even me, going yes. out before a fight, just shitting yourself. No, no, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you here. What do you say, you right? It, so see for what the way I do things, I get underneath the flipping bed of it. So I will learn Head everything I need to know. Pain, Chris. <laughs> Come out! <laughs> Come under the bed. So I'm, I'm literally given this 110%. Yeah. See, when I go home at night, I'd have been maybe flicking on Instagram or watching fucking a wee bit of TV. I'm now watching wow. boxing-specific fucking TV shows. Okay. I'm watching boxing-specific flipping reels. I'm watch, I follow this guy, you you Frank Noble Art. Did you watch him? Is he an old he's guy? He's the old guy. Uh, Fuck, he's class. He's, he's too... Yeah, don't have his, he uh, is fucking class. You would so know. I'm studying this from every single like whenever I go to Ryan I'm um, asking Ryan Ryan just fucking teach me like I'm never going to be a professional boxer yeah. but teach me what I, I need to know I think Rocky for <laughs> fucking class I yeah, think he is Andy Malone's like a big fucking Dolph Lundgren isn't he and I'm just going to fucking bother him I think a big thing that just need who's, it's whoever's fitter yeah and whoever yeah. sticks to the game plan as what well. Is, well what is the fight um, rules what is the uh, I don't know Tommy I'm fuck I'm I'm, I'm, I'm lost in this shit minutes. I think it'll be your usual three by two because that's okay. I think that's all we're allowed yeah, to do because yeah, yeah. if you go any more there's different licenses and stuff like what's that you a, need to do what's his gloves I'm talking um, well I'm, I've told him 12s mm. he went out on his Instagram last night and said he's wearing 10s no I'm not sure fuck that he's he should be in 16s that's pro boxing I know like you can't yep. 12s would be good enough I've got 12s I bought the fly stuff with all the all, you know, in full uh, fucking, fancy. Full fucking color, suits. Color. Is there head white, gears? all white with pink. No headgear. No, no. I know, I know. It's just dodgy. It's it is fucking dodgy because he's a like. But you know what it's like. You have, do you see big guys all the time? All these fucking muscles and six pack. Yeah. And there's there's no part. I'll tell you one thing. Do you know what I mean? When, see when I look across the ring. Yeah. And I see someone that's a tank. Yeah. I'm always happy. Yeah. Because they burn out really quick. They're yeah. They're not as they're not as fast. They're a bit slow. They're they're. They're clumsy, yeah, and they can't they can't hit hard because they don't have speed. I think. See, once he got his name, the danger is the danger. He's the oh, danger. <laughs> what's your nickname for it? I'm the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Sharp sharpshooter. Yeah, that's that's a that's fast a and accurate. That's a move. But here I've got here is the thing. <laughs> see, the sharpshooter is like a alliteration. See, from boxing around, I've got good par, lads. So that's yeah. that's what's good. I heard. You yeah, are no. Good well, honestly, the Tommy, I've got this. Don't make me ask him what witty. Fuck. In, in Stone or KG? I don't even know. Okay. KG, I don't even know. What, no, what, what is it? What's 13.9? Are you about Tommy's width? In, in Stone? Is about, in kilos, about Let 80. Him. 85 maybe 87 yeah right I'll be yeah. I'll be about 84 for the I'll be about 84 for the fight I'll be 13 is there, is there a, a catch no is no I know he I can, be, be, he can, can be as big as he well. fucking wants I can't Andy's a I would be in around like the 80s listen well. there needs to be a rule where he's a can like 10 pound within each other yeah, yeah. they can't be, can't be like a mad scrapping look, 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 look at me and Lewis my last fight he's a stone and a half you feel every every bit of it seriously do you see if they're a bit heavier now yeah, it's massive in the time. But see that, see that thing. Oh, maybe, maybe this is my naivety. I want him to be big. 
I want to be fucking massive. Listen, that. This fucking is this is I know. It's still fucking. 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 It's no, team shooter and the rail shooter. Here's the thing, Tommy. See if you've watched some of his wee videos. I don't know. Here's the thing. Andy is a fucking genius Mark- marketer genius. guy. Has he been putting up them videos? Because he no harm to him if he's watching this. He looks shit in the gym, right? <laughs> he looks fucking shit. Is he putting that on? Like, like yeah, he looks a fucking better. He's actually. Have you better. seen it? Like, it's fucking horrendous looking. Well, listen, Chris, Do you know what I mean? He's stinging that job. What, oh, no. what if the cunt is a fucking like? Is he an Ulster champion boxer behind the scene? And he hasn't told me, no. and he comes oh, in, he is literally not, fucking like, obliterates me. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Uh, I think his boxing experience is probably same. the same as you. Same yeah. in terms of experience, but uh, he as a. A footballer, he comes yeah. from a football background, so he has an athletic he's, background. Yeah. And that's the thing with me, see, see the fitness. from the suit background. Well, that's it, that fitness is my fucking, is my downside, Tommy, because I hate the gym, hate running, hate no yeah. thank you, mate, no thank you. Hate anything to do with fucking getting fit. So my main thing now over the next, next sort of 10, 12 weeks is just to keep working on my cardio and keep working on my technique and see if I go in there and I am at a, at a fitness level, he categorically will not beat me. See he, it, he, he just will not win. One it's impossible. Well, see when you're out there and the crowd's going mad. Yep. Don't do what I do and listen to the crowd. Yep. Just stick to your game plan. A lot, see, a lot of white collar boys just go out, they hear the crowd and they start swinging and get yeah. madness. And then they get ballics out there one yep. night. Just stick to it. Well, he's looking to, he's looking to knock me out. He's built this whole thing up. And he's like, I'm going to break his fucking jaw. You know what I mean? <laughs> Done in one. And I'm like, Andy, fucking bring that on, son. I was like, you just you're need to fucking, I swear to God, see if he fucking lands a glove on me in the first round. He'll be doing well. Do you, do you be laying oh. in bed? He'll be doing yeah. fucking well. <laughs> do you be uh, laying in bed at night thinking about it? Every night, Tyrone. Awake. You, you'll definitely give him problems. I'll give him problems. Ah, problems. Yep. <laughs> I, wake, I wake up in the morning and I think about it. I go to bed at night and think about it. So here, Ryan has me spar in the night, right? So I spar for the first time with Ryan there two weeks ago. I wasn't. Fucking awful. Intense. Intense. So, he ran, he's not one guy to take it easy. Man, and, he, man. and he didn't. Because here's the crack. So, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in there and I can't. So, with, with the head guard on all the rest of it. And he's in and he's let me fucking throw punches, right? And I can't hit him because I'm going around. You're my mate. That's one of the best people, best you know, boxers that's ever came out of this. Oh, thing. in, in, in my goat? opinion. He's a goat. He's a goat. In he my opinion. He is he's absolutely just, yep, everything. He is everything. Everything. Yep. And I think if he didn't get that injury, he would have went on to surpass even Definitely. what maybe Carl achieved Definitely. and that. But anyway, the um, yeah, I couldn't fucking hit him, right? And I'm throwing, and he's just pandering everything away, and I'm going, I can't commit, because you're my mate, Ryan. And he just goes, that is that right? Man. Right hand over the top, bang! On my fucking chin, I'm bang! Oh, sick, and I'm man, like, what are you doing? I'm like, you fucking <laughs> wee <laughs> bastard! He's manic, he's and he goes, he goes, see in the ring, we're not mates! I'm like, well, fucking fuck you then, and I get stuck into him! But I still didn't land. Um, <laughs> it didn't land anything. I didn't land anything. I'm fucking hitting gloves, and he's he's just giving it this here and fucking that there and bang, and I'm hitting nothing. And then I gassed out, and that was me bollocks. And then he just started fucking hitting me the body and pushing me Very around. We don't need to two rounds. Two What's rounds. In your cast, I was bollocks. Bollocks after thirty. See, after he hit me, and I went for him. Mm. Thirty seconds of me throwing my hands. I was literally people, nightmare. People don't realize how uh, it's hard to run. How hard boxing is. Well, that was even last night. I was just out having a wee punch bag, and I was literally just out, just doing this for fucking two minutes. And you're like, get the fucking a minute and thirty going. It's nearly over. Fuck this. It's hard, hard, hard going. Like, here, hold on. Yes. Yeah. Keep that down because it comes up on me. Oh, I see. It's Martin. Yeah. But Go ahead uh, and we're back in. <laughs> yeah, we're back in the thing again. But here, the fitness, that's the fucking key. Mm. Do you know, as long as, I think, as long as I have decent technique, um, I'll have a really good, like Ryan's defences, you know, is fucking that's class. Right. Yeah. And I've already got, like, my footwork. Because, again, I'd done a wee tiny bit of boxing about five years ago. Sure, I was going to fight Ryan. Me and Ryan were going to have a wee charity boxing match. Please? Burnett, right? And Sonny Upton. This man. Love it. I love it, I know. You're picking the hardest <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> But here, Sonny was doing a wee bit of training with me. So one of the things that Sonny was really good at was the footwork part of things. Yeah, so well. I've got decent feet already. Rand then is just working with me on the rescue and then he'll, he'll bring his own footwork Foot, stuff into footwork's it. Footwork's a massive thing in boxing, I think, as well. Yeah, it's, it's, I think all, so. about, it's all about the legs. It is. It is. Yeah. Defense, first of all, and then yeah. everyone throws shots. Yeah. But here, anyway, I'm going up the night for sparring. Who's Who's sparring? Sparring? I'm sparring Amir. Do you know we Amir? Um, the wee bodybuilder Amir? Amir? Not Amir. <laughs> <laughs> we Amir. Amir's got a fight on the 25th of May in the Devonish. 
and he's looking good, like, but he'll have a point to prove. Mm. So he'll want to batter me. Everyone will want to batter you. I know. I know. Yeah. See, oh, so see the amount of people. Spar? See the amount of people. I know we shoot spar. <laughs> see the amount of people reaching out, <laughs> going, I'll spar. And I'm going, you just want to fucking beat me up. You just don't want to spar me at all. No, you just yeah, want to fucking punch me. Yeah. But he's got this guy called Marcel coming, some kid called so Marcel. I, I, I'm training all the comedians for the comedian boxing. Yes. Come down spar with them. I will. I will. They're all the same levels. Yeah, yeah, I will. What do you, uh, did you wear 16 gloves or what do you wear? In right. spar? Yeah. 14s uh, and 16s. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're big gloves. So they have to come down and spar with them we, every Saturday. Yeah. Because they'll be the same level and yeah. it's be good for you. You want to see my level? <laughs> Listen. Level's fucking good, son. This is the thing. I'm getting too fucking confident. I swear to God. I'm fucking... Uh, like, I'm only in it three and a half weeks. I'm, a, I'm, a fuck, I'm already thinking I get here, give up a suit, I get in the ring. Are you what dad or are you just... What is it? Are you, have you been doing that no? Dude, I'm sure I'm eating healthy. I've lost about I've lost about maybe half a stone so far, Love and that. I'm shaping up. And it's just it's the fitness thing for me. Because yeah, yeah. see, because of my asthma that I used to have, I've never been. I mean, I've never been fit ever. I've never been even when I used to play football and all the rest. I have never ever ever been fit. This time for Andy Malone in the Ulster Hall, I'm gonna be as fit as I've ever fucking been. Which is a week after my fit. Yeah, mine's on the third of August. Yeah, so. That's not released yet, by the way, but that's what we have to Yeah, yeah. But I think Andy's one of me the day. I think, I think it is the 10th. I think that's when I spoke. No, mine's not even released either. Yours isn't released? <laughs> so yeah. Cut that out. But, uh, Yours is around the same date as mine. Yeah. And, uh, but don't forget, use of all, because anybody that's been boxing, oh, you've got loads of time, but use are all fit. You yeah. all work. Hey, you're you start from I'm starting from nothing, I've been Tommy. Retired for six months. But even still, that. you have a level. You're athletes. You but just have a year, level of fitness. I agree with you saying. Like, it's year to, like, yeah, building, building it up. It. I don't have that. I'm starting from scratch, so that's why I'm working a wee bit harder than anybody else probably would. But mm. that's me. I am giving man, this a hundred and ten percent. How many days a week you training? Seven. Well, you're I'm taking my Sundays. Sorry, six. I'm taking my Sundays off, but I'm training six days. So I'm a so rat. What about what about the um, businesses? Are they all going good? No, everything. I will. Uh, well, so when I say I'm training, Tommy, I'm training after work. Yeah. I still go to work every day and then train after. Okay. So it's it's busy like, but again, I sleep really well now too. So that's one of the things after after the, what happened to me, I learned how to sleep really well and I track my sleep. See that wee thing there? Mm. Best thing I ever bought. That's called an, that a it's an aura ring. I work my red and finger. That's an aura ring that tracks your sleep and your steps and all your flipping activity and all that sort of stuff. I learned out, I learned how to sleep really well just through a really good um, sleep hygiene, not being on my phone charge before sleep, having a nice comfortable bed, having the flipping air temperature at the right time or at the right um right level, making sure Tommy's that I... Like a proud father. Yes. <laughs> He's getting his great sleep. Yes. Sleep, sleep is living to room. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> See, the old me, the old me was like, sleep, shit, I can't be sleeping, I could be working. Mm. Now for me, sleep is probably the most important thing to me in my life oh, right now. Sleep. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and, here, and your team fucking... Uh, <laughs> I but he's team put to sleep. Uh, oh, fucking put this guy oh, to sleep. Oh, oh, oh. I tell, honestly, that's no joke. I know this is all bravado and all the fucking rest of it. I do think I'll knock him out. I, I think I, I think I think he'll gas and I think he'll gas in the second round and he'll just not understand how fucking good I'm gonna be. Oh, and then he'll he literally it. shit himself. I love the conference. Yep. Is it gonna be a press conference? Oh, it has to be. Yeah. Oh, We're I actually mean. thinking of doing. Uh, the gloves are off with yes, you, Andy. Yes, yes. Long table. Get it fucking in. And let's get it head yep. to head. The Reverend, the Reverend from Botox Jesus, as I'm calling now. <laughs> See, he's playing the whole fucking God thing. Because I'm an atheist, right? I don't believe in anything. And he's all about the Lord. And he's that's calling me a, the devil worshipper and all this. Well. And you're, that's it. I'm six, six, Anybody six. that's to do with suitors now, the devil. <laughs> Take you off my social media. Because I'm for God. <laughs> You know, he sounds like Ian Paisley. That's what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him the fucking Botox Paisley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bearded flipping Yuri Paisley. But, uh, well, how's uh, Nicola feel about it? She, oh, fuck, she fell out me big time. Did, Did she? she? Oh, because she's seen, remember? The kids, what are the kids? And well, she's seen the whole troll bus thing. Because, I mean, see that week on the run-up that the troll buses were me in it? I literally was, I was in terrible form. I was yeah. in dire form. Because like, okay. I didn't know what he was going to say. Yeah. She didn't know what he was going to say. You know, he could have, and he didn't, to be fair to Andy. Um, he didn't say anything too bad. But literally, so then when I told her that me and I blocked him, and I actually went and I blocked loads of people on on, on my socials because they were putting up his stuff. Anytime I see Andy's face, fucking block. People I know, like friends, see if they shared something on him, but I'm fucking blocked. Anyway, so she knew the whole beef thing. And then um, it was actually fucking Nico told her. So Nico didn't want me to take this fight. Did right? He no, he didn't. No, uh, we'll not go into it. But anyway, so me and him are falling a wee bit over that, but that's fine. We'll, we'll sort it out. Um, because he was worried about how it made him look, because he's not doing it and I'm doing it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, but look, he's busy, he's it. busy, he's too much on, he, just, he doesn't yeah. need this in his life, whereas I want it. <laughs> uh, but he sent fucking Nicola, 
He sent Nicola a message saying Chris is fucking fighting Andy Malone. And she just comes bursting right? into the kitchen, fucking kicks the door in. Shoot her. She couldn't shoot her. You shoot her. Them? What There's the fuck's this? And I was like, I was going to tell you. Flicking up on fuck. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but um, I just, no, she's all for it now. Because you know what? I actually she wanted. She actually commented on the. Uh, oh, she hates him. him. Oh, see if he fucking, see if he even fucking lies a glove me. Nick will be in the ring, in the, uh, fucking baiting the shit clean out of him. Go It'll be, see the event. It's going to be brilliant. There's, it's going to be a cauldron. When are the tickets going to? I think it's either, it's either this Thursday or next Thursday. Yeah. But um, no, I need this. The will, the fly. The fly. The fly. But the um, yeah, I also need something. As I say, I've never been fit. I've never been in shape. Um, this is giving me something to fucking focus on. Cause I'm big into my biohacking. I do all my sort of uh, my clean eating. I fucking take all my supplements. But I was always just eating a wee bit of biscuits here, a wee bit of chocolate there, a fucking kebab here, a fish need, and chips there. Focus. I need focus. focus. Right. So this is focusing me. See, now, when I was not, not fighting, I was saying I'm going to die on Monday, and by Tuesday yeah. or Wednesday, you're eating shit again. Exactly. Isn't? Because there's no angle. Yep, so that's, yeah. I need I need that. Like, yeah. you need that, like, yeah. you need that. So this whole thing built up. Don't need that. Don't be bring me no. in. <laughs> <the Eastern friend. laughs> Tell no, me I'm, I'm living clean now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the, the consummate professional, <laughs> Tommy yeah. Mac. But um, no, I needed it. So, no, I'm really looking forward. I'm really enjoying the boxing training too. Fuck, I didn't know how... Um, you know the way they call it, like, the sweet science? Yeah, I did not... Yeah. Tommy, it's bonkers even just wee stupid things like from how you throw a fucking overhand right a shelter fucking job you know how you're flipping your three points of rotation on your left hook to the so body and all this <laughs> <fucking stuff. laughs> i teach you after talking to you right? then you'll fucking have we go what's the point but, of rotation <laughs> oh dear but, but even, every day there's a lot of things people don't oh, people no. just think you're throwing punches yes. make them sense we're thinking 10 steps ahead yes it's bonkers yeah and and Ryan Burnett is the perfect person. He's a man. He he's a man. He's really he, he, he explains stuff. He's a student. Easily. Yes, he's a student yeah. of the game and he's a teacher. Yeah. And you think of like all them years he had and all with Adam Booth and stuff yeah. like it's just it's class. Wee, it's wee tricks. Like I was I only done one session. Yes, I must have went home about four or five new wee tricks up. And oh, here he's that game. I'll not say too much, but yeah. he's he's teaching me these wee tricks on the clinch uh, on know, the inside. Oh, I Andy, where do you fucking <laughs> see, son? You're not even gonna see it coming. <laughs> You're not gonna see it coming. You big is cunt. Your kids going to go fight. Uh, no, no, I'll not have my kids there. Fuck no. Just in, ca kids? Just in case he, he wrong, just in case yeah. he clips me and I fucking, you know, I have <laughs> to get all fucking it. badass on him. Anything can happen. Do you know? Should make but, to my last fit and nice getting. Uh, I, know, know, I know, but they know Tyrone. They <laughs> fucking know. Daddy's a nutcase. <laughs> Whereas my kids think I'm pretty fucking cool and pretty steady. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> but again, it's a crack wooden suit. So is your heart still in it? Or? Oh, I hundred percent because it like it pays the bills. Yeah. Tommy, it's still the flipping breadwinner because it's a wee cafe. Um, for anybody that's watching this, everyone wants to open a cafe. Don't fucking do it. No <laughs> nightmare. But the um, like we're busy and it's it's a like Nicola loves it and we've got a great partner in Chef Anna and the food it's and the is unbelievable. It is There's unbelievable. There's no doubt this is not a fucking sale. It is Suter & Co is. is unbelievable. But the industry has just shafted us. You cannot make money at them mm. at all. A lot of places so, have been closing down because of how expensive they're being. That's it. Like see the gas, see the electric, see the flipping food bills, yeah. see the price of staff nowadays. And you're putting up the price of your food. And people going, Fuck we're we're already the dearest in Hollywood. Like we yeah. can't fucking go anymore. Well, and like you know, and it's Hollywood too. But here, Tommy, see when you break down the costs, that's why I don't understand how other coffee shops and and, and restaurants around the country are making it work. Because I'm getting the best, the best ingredients in as well. Yeah, and we're, when we do, we don't cut that. Yeah. How do you feel, Chris? If somebody comes in 30, 30, 30 to forty, yes, gets a hot chocolate, yes. Do you look down on him? <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with that? Exactly. What's, what's wrong with that? What's fucking wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Perfect. Tyrone would give me dogs if he's... Fuck, you're joking, mate. Because he drinks hot chocolate. chocolate. We can go in the coffee shop, like, well, can I have a cappuccino, please? I can never have chocolate. He's <laughs> 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 not a fan. I'm glad. He's not a fan. No, because no, not wrong with that. Hot chocolate is fucking class. And see it, our hot chocolate. Our hot chocolate. Cream and chocolate, Stephen. No, listen, just straight We get cream and marshmallows, and then we burn the marshmallows and stuff on top of it. Tommy, <laughs> fucking no, for class. Me, I just say, like, man. No, but you I not drink it on the rocks. Do you not drink coffee or tea or anything? <laughs> Do you not like what? Drink I, coffee I or tea or anything? I don't really. I'm not a big coffee drinker. I'm a tea drinker, but yeah. I drink tea in the house. Yeah. 17 cups a day. Fuck. Nah, I was going to really. say, no, but, you wouldn't do because <laughs> maybe. Much, but I'll drink tea like friggin' flat out. So, would you go to a coffee shop? Where would you pay 
I know. 17, 15 for a cup of tea. I know, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, like yeah. RT here now, Tommy. Have you seen RT? RT comes with a timer and everything, so you get your you get your wee pot with your tea leaves in it, and then the water pours in, and then you turn your wee timer, and once that timer's down to three minutes, that's when you pour your tea out. It's an experience. Uh, Haven't tea in Sudan and go. Oh, oh I fucking class. 17, no, we're 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 three pound fifty or something out there. It's not too bad. Sure. You know? But it's not. But it's not just a fucking. Tea. It's not just a tea bag. It's proper Belfast brew tea, and you get. We t- it's fucking lovely yeah. experience like I just but, think that's all but no the business mm-hmm. are all they're all going good and there's loads of DJing on too and um, yes so what, what wait, um, are you doing any of the festival this yeah, year you done Shore Fest last year no I, the Shore Was Fest has taken a wee bit of a backseat the boys have went a different direction with that and that's a shame because I loved that that was fucking yeah. brilliant love Maria but no I just do um, I do weddings I do events and I do a couple of wee clubs I do Bennett's and Porter Down and I do the Down Sharon Band Bridge and um, that's, a, that's enough but again Tommy on, on the field dance night I'd done the field I'd done the, uh, the diversionary one yeah. with Kieran McCauley we, Aye, we actually got our first call for a wedding did you? Yeah. yeah, we did indeed. Did you? Whiskey and Wade are hosting the wedding. Fuck, that's, <laughs> that is class. Yeah. Do you know what? See, with the pod, guys, there's so many different wee directions you can take us. Oh, sorry, I want Tommy to do an apology here oh. while, while he's here. Oh. Yeah, you. What, you, for? what have you done? You yeah. fucked me over last week. What have you done, Tommy? Go ahead, explain. So go. last week, I said about this pod, we were doing a fundraiser pod's time. We had to do uh, yes. hosting for it. Yes. And he came on here, he slobbered me, came me shit. He said, No, we're supposed to be doing one a week, 10 minutes each. Weren't doing hosting. No one said hosting. Blah blah blah. The woman sent him the message that was sent, and it said, "What, Tommy?" Okay, right. <laughs> so <laughs> it said, "Can you and t- Tommy do a hosting, and can Tommy do ten minutes as well?" Ah, oh, yeah. come on. Well, and, obviously, and, I, um, and he let me hand draft no, to no, do no, this after. No, no. Oh, you did it on your own because no. he said just need double booked. Ah, oh, Tommy, so I'm gonna do the set at the gig. Right? Yes, but last night when. When uh, it all kicked off, it all kicked off. Hmm? All this the wee Palestine WhatsApp group all started ganging up on me, <laughs> oh, fuck. making up bullshit. Calling you all the names of the day. The fucking Photoshop that we posted together. Oh and then dear. They can't, you can't trust what they're saying because it's all we mates. Yep. All going against me on my own. Listen. But you've left your mate hand right. Yeah, I'm like, really. Fuck's listen, sake. Uh, That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna host like at the start, and I have to go do do a gig in the town. <laughs> 45 minutes, whatever, half an hour, and then I'll come back because I'm a headline. I'm a headline actor. I know you got to know. I know you got to make it work. I can't believe it. You'll make yeah, it work. I said, I would have said no if it was me by myself because I don't like Well, it. I was booked for this R gig first. And then Sam for June, by the way, get their tickets on yes. Sander. But when you asked me, I was trying to say no. And then obviously it's such a, a good cause in it. I didn't want to let you down as a new myth. But stop trying to swindle the different way. Not swindle the different way. We're now trying to still say sorry. Sorry for what? Fuck, see? You still work outside. Yeah, you work outside. Sorry. But are you going to get into comedy night, Tyrone? Is that what you mean? No, I'm actually not. Uh, that's the thing. It wasn't. But now I'm, I'm going to have to do some stand up comedy among. Why haven't we given them pointers on how to host? Do you have hosted a I host? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I love you it. You actually yeah. don't have to be funny to host. No, you don't. But what you know what? What are you trying to say Chris? You just... <laughs> fuck you, you <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Asked, you hosted Chris. You he's hosted, but like, you're not funny. funny. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you're all right. <laughs> you'll be fucking all right. But nah, Tron, you'll be, you'll be grass, son. You know what? You need to push this again. You're pushing yourself out yeah, there. Another yeah. wee push. Well, you know, five of them going push too far. Listen, end up in a grand pack tech. We've also no, no, we, fuck. We <laughs> then he no, ended up in his bedroom like I did. He's, he's starting to get excited, he heard, because I said just that. Now he's trying to make me do the feel of fucking whiskey and wait live again. Yes. Why, was, why would you not? Because I've said no to the anxiety. Head, big anxiety fist. Right. Well, I didn't know that, Throne. So you get oh, the anxiety yeah. coming up to it. Yeah. Me and you get together and we're learning how to breathe. See the breath work? Yeah. Swear to God, Throne. <laughs> Yeah. The fucking <laughs> Get him on here. The green. See the breath. Like, see before Andy, you'll see me in the fucking green or whatever it is. You'll be there. You'll be in the. But you're you're walking out me, aren't you? No reason. No. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm you sure. could be walking out me, Andy. I'll be holding Andy's belt. You'll be. Ah! Fu- <laughs> no, here you'll be holding his hand because it'd be fucking <laughs> shit. It'd be going this week on suitor. What's Surely? he like? You're gonna be suited up to the guilds for your. Oh, uh, I've got the full first time ever. I have the whole heap to run. <laughs> I'm having the fucking ring jacket, the fucking shorts, everything, all done. Good uh, it's gonna be brilliant. Uh, do you know what song you're walking? Having got my ring walks. Actually, I love that man. There's that many fucking songs. Do you, do you know? make rave songs? I don't know. What oh, well, one you were doing? I'm storming at him. 
I wasn't. I was. I was uh, for the for the, the NI the NI trans family. Oh, there's some crackers on that. There's, but no, I. Clip, but, uh, it's yes. only like thirty seconds. Dude. Yes. What is this song off? There's oh, there's about four songs in that. Is there? All right. <laughs> four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll send you the track listen on that. But there's some of it. Yeah. It's not for me. Like it's for you. Did you like it? it? I want something sing along. I want the whole fucking yeah, crowd because you know I need something to build up. You hear? Yes. You watch. You watch the darts. Yeah. Right, see Nathan Aspinall? Yeah. He walks out every time to Mr. Brightside yep. and the whole fucking crowd are singing. Tyrone loves it. And then see who he's playing. <laughs> it's as if the whole here. It's as if the whole crowd are for him. The whole crowd don't even know who the fuck he is. Yeah. They just like the song. Yeah. You know you what I mean? You need to pick a good song. You gotta pick a good song. Sing along to. Yeah. Definitely. And I'll be one of those ones, there'll probably be three songs split up, so you'll be thinking it's one three that I'll songs? Aye, and then I'll bust. I can't do that. I mean, I'm gonna do laps of the ring. Andy doesn't realise I'm the fucking A side. He's out first. He doesn't know that yet, but he's out even he's hey, fucking being all, told. Don't give a fuck. He's standing that ring waiting on me, coming out. 100%. And that's gonna be right. Let's, over the fucking, let's fucking go for it. <laughs> Scale of have rope. Nazim style. Um no, I don't think I'll do that because I'll probably fucking land on my back yeah, and break it. I would shit myself too. But um And no. just also just to um turn to bring up last week. He said he thinks you're older than Suter. Or I think he thinks Suter's older than Ali Malone. Yeah. I think I am. Which I was surprised. But he because I think you look very you full. Thank you, thank you, you Tommy. He, go, he goes, because he's in suits and stuff, but he looks older. What fucking age do you think I, I am? I genuinely am not even joking you. <laughs> I don't want to offend you. No, you're not a fan. You can't offend me. I thought he was like 47. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. 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 i I'm Team Suter. Oh my God! See when you're fucking going red now, even to think about it. You're, you're in the, the, the suit shop for yeah. so long, and you're always wearing nice. It's the grey hairs, suits, from, and then you got grey hair. The grey hairs. The stress. I said, I'm going on the. <laughs> I ain't gonna own the fucking oil of you there when I get home here. Ninety-seven-year-old lungs. I think I, I, I'm a lungs arrangement. I think um, I think Andy's thirty-seven. I Is think he? he's thirty-seven. I think no, he looks with. 40, uh, I think he looks a bit my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, you look 47. Thanks. I thought you were in the same. Well, you are in the same age range. I didn't think you were it's close, old. I, it's pretty, it's close I didn't enough. think you were old. It's close enough. And look, he's going to be doing his. He's going to be coming out looking ripped the fuck, and I'm going to come out looking skinny fat. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I call myself skinny fat. I'm not fat, but I'm not in any shape. Yeah. And I've got a wee bit of a fucking belly, so I'll be coming out. Well, you've got a few weeks. You might yeah, I've got a load of time. Load and it's all going good, like, I'm telling you. I'm going to Thailand for a few weeks, so you fancy it? Fuck, I'll be great, Tron. Can you imagine? <laughs> you going to do a train? Yeah, yeah we we'll can't. Oh, break. very good. That'll be brilliant. Yeah, just to get skinny, fit, and ready for action. Yep. Who is your opponent? Can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah. You can tell me off. You can tell yeah, me off. off. Right, tell me off the off the thumb thing. But oh, here, man. what do you think of him coming back? I guess it's your flipping. This is your flipping work well, wife. You know what do you think? Uh, let's hear. Uh, okay. True, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tommy Mac, what do you think of Tyrone coming back and getting back in the ring? Frank? I uh. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Wow. Oh, uh, Tyrone's anxiety's gone cool. nuts. Uh, I, I don't know. Fuck's sake! I need to get Fuck my way. No, I am. Um, I thought Tyrone made a mistake by announcing his retirement when he did. Okay. Um, because he has the name, and he has the fan base to have big fights. So I thought it was a silly mistake. I thought uh, I didn't think he should have retired, and I think he should. Um, continue the box and have the right fights for the right money so they take silly fights so yeah. the next one if it's the right fight for the right money then by all means he trains trains properly and does it does things the right way yeah because he definitely uh has a few years left in him yeah but he needs to be got, smart just with it he needs to, have he needs to be smart with this time yeah yeah, yeah. that's fair enough Tyrone like you can't that's fucking horse's mouth stuff it is it that is. is horse's mouth stuff. But yep. we've talked enough shit today, Chris. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Pleasure. You're a legend. Yep. Everyone, make sure to subscribe to the Patreon. It's only two quid a month, which is fat all. You can't even get a coffee in his coffee. No, sure you can't. Can. Oh, I can't even get a tea. You get a, you get a, you get a couple of marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for, for uh, joining us. Yep. Join us next week. Also, we'll be doing a challenge at the weekend. We've got a few Patreoners on the challenge. So if you want to start getting involved in these challenges, do sign up because you can be selected and put your names forward for all the channels yeah. that we'll be doing. Like, subscribe, share. If you want to uh, advertise or promote your business, send me a mail. 
We'll give you the praise breakdowns or the praise breakdowns, the price breakdowns. And if you want to donate this show, send a PayPal at McKenna Tad, <laughs> okay, we'll take a few. <laughs> right, you get, you'll get All right, folks. Yep. Right out, cheers.